Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And it looks like 5G specs have been surfacing the internet. And it looks like it will be 20 gigabytes per second on the download. One millisecond latency, which is the ping. And they want one million devices to be connected per square kilometer. So currently we're barely getting into the one gigabit speeds, which is the LTE advanced. The 5G cells must be at least 20 gigabytes per second. That's what the International Telecommunication Union has decided. So this will be announced in November officially, according to this. And they also, and this is a, this is a really big one. They want at least 1 million connected dev devices per square kilometer. So that means the tower well, the towers itself can hold a lot more people on them. Currently, I want to say each tower site can hold up to about 25 to 3,000 people before it really slows down. That's why density is so important. So each section can have their own capacity. You know, this tower was holding this many people. Now we add another tower closer to it. So that way we can divide the people between both of the towers and that essentially is the long-term solution on clearing up congestion in certain areas so definitely the 5 tech is coming uh, 5g tech is coming they're building towards it all the carriers with the small cells the densifying and it looks like by 2020 we will officially be able to say that we have 5g upwards of lte and once this is announced in november that's when <laughs> official testing will start i think verizon already announced they will be testing and then also t-mobile has recently announced they'll be testing the lteu and the laa on their networks how i know verizon's only doing 11 cities t-mobile says they will have announce how many cities they will do in the next few days um AT&T is doing some LTE M. I'm looking further into that. I haven't heard anything about that. So definitely looking forward to that. And Sprint is still going with their 2.5 band 41 spectrum. They say they have 100 megahertz of it. They can do five carriers and they don't want to be involved in any of that unlicensed spectrum. So definitely we'll see. It'll be interesting. It looks like Sprint will be last again going into the 5g tech they're building towards it but <clears throat> it's just not happening at a fast pace it's not happening there's still many towers that don't have band 41 on them in markets that are officially launched as band 41 when i first got with t-mobile every site that i had here was span 4 every site and then now they're getting every site up with band 12 where they can and then band 2 as well in most markets Sprint still has band 25 towers only. Uh, some are only 3G. So Sprint has to upgrade every single site that they have in cities where they launched band 41 and bring them up to band 41. I think that will help them in the long run. And then, because currently with Sprint, what from what I've been reading is their small cell rollout has trump their trump their uh band 41 rollout band 41 rollout is going a lot slower than small cells so definitely just a little info on that so 5g is coming let me know what you think in the comment section down below who do you think will be the first to really get it going will it be t-mobile will it be verizon maybe at&t and how do you think do you think, I think personally, and I was going to make another video, I think carriers are going to start, once this is rolled out and they have more access to Spectrum, I think carriers are going to start rolling out unlimited hotspots. And what I mean by that is, it's almost like they're trying to replace your uh, Wi-Fi internet at home. So, and I think T-Mobile has hinted at that and Sprint as well. Once they get dense enough with, their, with, with Sprint with their Spectrum holdings, they can offer home internet. And I'm thinking T-Mobile will announce it first since they're since they claim their network is ready for unlimited. As far as you know, you get unlimited high speed on the hotspot like you do on the phone. And then we will deprioritize you according like we do on your phone at 
28 gigabytes, but it is unlimited high speed. I think T-Mobile will lead with that first and then everyone will follow into that. I'm hoping AT&T follows it, period, because they don't even offer hotspot on your phone. So definitely very, it's getting really exciting. I have more videos coming today. Got a few things, run, errands to run. The giveaway will be announced tonight. The wireless recap of the week will be also tonight, episode two. So definitely stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.